I've already went over adding lipstick or adjusting lipstick or even the lip color of a model. We can also use Photoshop to add digital makeup. What we want to do is create new layers and be sure we create a new layer for every new element that we're adding so it's all organized and we can edit each layer at a time. So first step on here, we can work on a duplicated layer if we want. Just press Control or Command J. And then we want to add a new layer. So create a new layer on the bottom layers panel so we have this transparent layer here. And then choose some kind of color that you want to add in here. I have the default swatches here if you if you go to Window then Swatches. Uh, if you go click here and just go to Reset Swatches, if you want to have the same swatches as mine, hit OK. Should be the default. There's a lot of other options in there but this should be fine for this example. Let's just say we want to add a little bit of color above the eyes after the fact. Uh, so if you hover over this, it'll show you the names, but this one's called Pastel Violet. And what we want to do on this new layer, just making sure we're on this transparent layer, just click and drag. And it looks really bad right now, right? Don't worry, we're going to fix it. And we can also left and right bracket to resize on the fly if you want something a little bit smaller. Uh, the brush size. I have a soft edge brush. Make sure you have the hardness set to 0%. And then we want to change the blending mode of this layer. Uh, I find like overlay works and soft light works and it's a little bit more subtle. And let's say we went too far outside of the area. We could erase, but remember masking is better. So just add a mask to this layer here. Make sure foreground color is set to black. And then with the soft edge brush, we'll paint some black in here like so. And then over here we'll also add some black in here. Let's just say we want it just on the eyelid area. Alright, so there's before and then there's after. So you would double click on this and call it, uh, I don't know if we would want to call it eyeshadow or whatever that is. Uh, then we just create a new layer and then let's say we wanted to add some more color to the lips here. Uh, we could use, what's, what's this one here? Pure Magenta Red. And making sure we're on this top layer, we can call it Lips. And then just click and drag with a soft edge brush. This is another way, this is a third way to recolor lips. So I already went over two other ways in the other lecture. So something like that, and we can always adjust it with a mask afterwards, of course. And if you can't see through, we can adjust the opacity temporarily, so you can see through where we're painting. And then we can bring the opacity back up to 100%, and then change it to, say, overlay or soft light. And then if it's too strong, just bring the opacity down. All right, there's before, there's after. And you could do this, we could also add a mask to that if we wanted to just slightly adjust it. Again, create a new layer and if you just wanted to add a little bit of toning here to accentuate the cheekbones, that's one thing people do. We could click, let's say, pale warm brown. Might be a little bit dark, so let's bring the opacity down right away to about 30% or maybe like 40 45 percent and just click and drag in here that's a little strong obviously so we want to bring that opacity down and change the blending mode to probably overlay and it'll get just get darker and if we don't like the effect let's say we're like oh well that doesn't really look right we can just delete the layer or toggle the visibility of it so create a new layer Let's say we want to add some color over here as well. Again, let's say pastel magenta red. And just click over here. And then I'm going to change it to soft light. There's before, there's after. So it really brings out the red in our cheeks. Went over a little bit too far over here. So again, we can add a mask, paint some black in, and mask that out. All right. So that's adding digital makeup. We're basically adding a new layer for every new element we're adding, and then we're adjusting the blending mode to soft light or overlay, 
and then adjusting opacity and adding masks if we need to to really customize where those colors are added.